Yeah, so <laughs> now OpenAI has even more stuff. OpenAI has been going through so much stuff and changes recently. Now they got stuff for robots. They, they trying to put this in human form. And I've been trying to find a good video for this, but I guess this is the most that we're going to get for right now and see how it escalates in the future because this is still very fresh um, from what I see. It's still very fresh. So now let's see what they have to talk about on building robots and things. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that for the algorithm. I really appreciate it. But let's dive into what they got to say right here. Humanoid robot, you, you think Tesla and Optimus, but I've been digging in to this company. It's an interesting round. The numbers are big. What have you learned? Yeah, figure. This is an alternative to Optimus, what Elon Musk is building. Uh, this company, like you said, is building humanoid robots. And the idea here is, one, to address labor shortages in the labor market at some point but also to substitute for humans for more dangerous jobs, perhaps on, on production lines and such. And what we're told is that there could be an announcement this week for a slew of funding topping $675 million, like you said, at that $2 billion or about $2 billion pre-money valuation. And you have a lot of big names in one funding round, uh, which is quite rare. You have Jeff Bezos's personal investment firm, uh, Explore. You have Intel coming in with a $25 million investment. Investment, NVIDIA coming in at a $50 million investment, uh, Amazon's VC arm, Samsung's VC arm, LG's VC arm, plus Microsoft coming in with $95 million, OpenAI coming in at $5 million. So certainly you have the who's who there uh, of companies interested in artificial intelligence, robotics, and these types of future technologies. Right. So this is going to be quite interesting to see how it all develops. You know, Wait. the NVIDIA... So... Bro, who, this has to be for, to get all these big names on your robot startup, and this ain't even Tesla's robot startup, this is another one, you have to be somebody. Like, if you really look at these names, you have to be somebody. Somebody real. Like, they know who you are, and they really trust you, because... You were able to raise six hundred seventy-five million dollars, and you're already valued at two billion. Like, who? Give me the name of these people, yo. Like, who is behind this? Cause you got all of these people. You got all. You got the lead AI company right now, OpenAI. Microsoft, who works with OpenAI, Bezos, Meta, Intel, and Nvidia, both chip. People, Samsung, Amazon. Who are you? Like, I uh, let, let's see if they give. This is interesting. You know, they've invested all over the place, privately, and as we learned in the thirteen Fs. Um, in, in some public companies as well. I think I'm right in saying at one point OpenAI thought about just buying uh, Figure AI outright. What can you tell me about the company's progress? Do oh, I'm so slow. The company is called Figure AI. Who is the owner of this? And OpenAI was going to buy them. Brett Adcock. What, who is he? Founder, CEO, executive. Who? This is their webpage. I don't even know who they are. They said OpenAI almost bought them. That's why I said OpenAI going to be doing Kobe numbers. Because look. Oh, they talking about fulfilling jobs and stuff like that. Warehouses, all this other stuff. Our goals deploy automated humanoid workers. Support the global scale. Look at all these engineering permit. Positions open. Said, come apply. 
Sunnyvale. Are these all? Hold on. Wait. Humanoid management system. Are these positions? Can, is this legal to like look at? Their. <laughs> I was trying to see if this was remote, but they got a lot of positions, yo. All and they're all specialized, too. Master plan, like. They said OpenAI almost bought them. Who is who is this? Who is this man? Uh, experience, founder of Archer. This dude just be creating companies. He ain't worked a company in his life. He just be creating them. Aerospace. All electric vehicle takeover. Yeah, I don't even know who this dude is, and he was able to get them in this. Oh my gosh. I was not aware I was logged into LinkedIn. Yo, we're gonna do some videos on figure AI. They are, they seem pretty dope. They seem they seem pretty good as a company. Um yeah, I'm trying to figure out who their owner is and um all that information cuz wow. To get all of those people. Do y'all see that list? To get all of them All these people to invest in your startup and you valued at two billion already and he's known by a known founder progress do they have anything to show for their work in humanoid robotics so far you know before sam altman was ousted uh as ceo last year there were some pretty deep uh, negotiations regarding an acquisition of figure by OpenAI. Uh, there were also more extensive conversations around bigger investments, and the OpenAI investment ultimately came down to only $5 million. And I say only, uh, you compare it to the $50 million from NVIDIA, the $100 million from Bezos, you have $100 million from uh, a venture capital firm called Parkway. Uh, so certainly the OpenAI deal sort of really fell apart amidst the whole Sam Altman situation uh, last year. In terms of the progress that figure has made. You know, they've published some videos and some specifications on their website. Uh, it's unclear who's further ahead, figure, uh, or, you know, Elon Musk's optimist, but clearly uh, they're selling the goods to these investors and getting enough money from them. Uh, you can see the video they're playing. It's unclear if that's real or some sort of, you know, AI created mock up or, uh, you know, preview of what's to come. Certainly it's going to be years or even a decade plus before what you see in that video is a reality uh, but clearly these companies have enough money to put in you know what is what amounts to change under their couch uh to place some bets here and there and hope that figure works out for them so let me tell you something one tesla ain't beating nobody i'm standing on that i'm standing on it tesla ain't beating nobody Figure is going to beat them. With that kind of backing, Figure is going to beat them. They focused. They don't got to worry about no EVs. They don't got to worry about none of it. Tesla got to worry about a lot more. They focused. They focused over there. I'm telling you, they focused. And look, I, another thing. Open AI should have kept that man, Sam Altman. You, brought, you lost him and brought him back. And you lost him and you lost your deal on that. Y'all would have been even bigger. Forget, forget putting up Kobe numbers. You would put up Wilt numbers with that. They lost. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, man. What could have been? Now it's what is. See what could have been versus what is. See, I didn't even know that them losing Sam Outman affected that deal. I didn't even know they were in that deal. And this is why we do this, so we can know stuff. It's better to be more educated and knowledgeable than it is to be ignorant. And this that's what this is about every week.
I, I want to be more educated, more knowledgeable. I don't want to be ignorant around this stuff. I work in this field. I want to know what's going on in this field constantly. I want to know what's available out there. I want to know what's able to grow, what's able, what's not growing. I want to know all of this kind of stuff. And this week alone, it's been a mass, mass knowledge transfer for me, I want to say. So, wow. Human robots is something. I'm telling you, I don't trust them. The way that people are abusing AI chatbots right now, I do not trust no AI robot. I ain't going to trust one in a million years. I mean, not, I want to say, I'll be like Will Smith in the iRobot movie. Believe me or not, that is me. Will Smith in the iRobot movie is me. How I feel about these robots right now. I won't trust them first coming out. I don't even trust a software update that comes up on the phone until a month or two later. Unless it's like a system thing where they got a security and stuff. Then, you know, you got to get it. But the bots, I don't trust it. But they definitely going to beat Tesla. That's another one. I'm having so many quotes. This We only in March. This is the first episode of March. Is this the first episode of March? I think this is the first episode I'm having in March, and I've said so many controversial, top, hot takes already. This is the first episode of March. I got like three hot takes in one video. That's why people gotta listen. Wait until I break these out into smaller videos, man. All right. <laughs>